Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Steel Hunter game by the Royal Penguin, and it's the first game that he's managed to get a, a win the battle. Um, I'm giving you the end away straight away, but I thought it'd be interesting that you'd actually get to see it in, see it in full. And he's in the Arlequin, which, if I remember correctly, is the French version, or the French tank that you start out with. So let's see how he does in this game. I've never really been successful at Steel Hunter. I only won it once, only once, and I've never won it again since. Okay, well, off to a good start. And he's off again. I think the main problem with uh, Steel Hunter is that right at the start you normally come across somebody else who's also collecting all the bits and bobs and eventually you have to have a fight or run as fast as you can. Two sets of ammunition, this is good. Whoa! Overcooked that one and he was spotted when he did it. And yes, he has come across someone and he didn't manage to finish the, uh, the loadout. And now he's been hit by the Raven twice. In fact, actually three times he's been hit. Up, oh, but he's got some compensation now because this is probably something the Raven didn't spot. So he's going to get some equipment now. Oh, it's consumables. Sorry, not equipment. And he's got that. So now he can go back and ambush that Raven or he can make his escape. And I think he's decided to do that instead. Well, apparently somebody's already died. And he's used his radar to work out where the enemy is. He's been having a ding-dong. He didn't pen the Arlequin, but there's more than one actually firing. And he's going in for the kill on the Arlequin, who's trying to uh, collect. And I think he's made a bit of a mistake here. And now he's got to fight the... Uh, what's it? The... Walkire or Walkure. They're both trying to collect off it. He did manage to get the uh, the Arlequin one. And oh, what's that mine turned up? And he hit the Walkire. So he is trying to escape. But the Walkire, oh, it's just replenished his health completely. So I think he's decided to run rather than fight it out. But actually, he now he can upgrade. Chooses number one, top speed. Oh, he's getting nice hits here on the enemy. Okay, more consumed kills. I think he's going to stop for this one. Okay, can uh, upgrade again. This time he goes for dynamics. And he's going for magazine reloading as well. So now he's a little bit faster, more like a, an EBR, you might say. Although he's not an EBR. Okay, the zone is closing in. He's headed straight towards the closed zone. But there is a yellow one here for uh, ammunition. So you might as well take it. Got it. Oh, into the wall. That actually looks and sounds more like a bat chat now. He's risking going into the uh, radiation zone, but he's not going into the danger zone yet. So he can pick up these consumables. And the ammunition. Oh, airdrop's coming in. Okay, he's upgrading again. Mobility this time. Yeah, he's much more like a Batchat now. In fact, more like a Batchat 12 ton than anything else. Oh, take this uh, first, consumables. And he's detected somebody nearby. We'll have this. He's doing a lot of collecting, trying to avoid the enemy. He ran when 
other people would have fought and I think that's one of the reasons why he's still alive. If he tried to stay around, he probably would have been dead. Well, he's killed one enemy tank and there's only 11 left in the game. Oh, got around into that wall tire. I wonder if that's the one he fired at last time. Pop the reload. Yes, good. Hasn't got long to wait. Could go, could have gone down there, but it's going to try and make it across the bridge. Down the other side. Oh, another ammunition load. Okay, the enemy's far enough away to not to worry about it. And he's got another upgrade. Rotation speed this time. That helps to actually spin that turret around quickly. Okay, we've got more consumables over towards the... Uh, directly in front of us. There it is. Now he's very dangerously close to the uh, danger zone, but it's not going to change yet. Airdrop coming in. And there's another one over there. The airdrop is actually in the north. You see these aircraft fly by and you think, oh, it must have been close. And in fact, actually, they're quite a long way away. There's only seven people in the game now. He's headed straight towards somebody. Oh, no, he's going off to a slightly angle now. I didn't realise that, uh, yes. I've got uh, two drops. Oh, of course, it's uh, only five enemy, including him, so that's why it's six. No upgrade off that last one. He's skirting the edge of this because it's the uh, danger zone, but... Uh, another green one. Ah. Enemy. Nice shot into the uh, rear of him. Not the engine bay, though. And there's that uh, same one that he hit earlier. I think that's the one right from the start. And he's headed this way. No, that's an indestructible. And we've got more ammunition. Why do I get the feeling that he's going to meet the same person he met right at the start of the game? Towards the end of the game. <laughs> Keeping an eye on where the enemy is. Okay, another consumables. Should get an upgrade off this one. Just checking our radar to see where they are. Oh, we didn't get one. Oh, we've got another one ahead. He's certainly doing very well to avoid these enemies. I suppose that's what you call rough ground. <laughs> Good job he's not getting tracked at all. Excellent. So there's only four other players in the game still. He's decided to turn around because that's a radiation zone.
This time round he is headed towards one of the enemy. I'm wondering which one it's going to be. Oh, radiation zone and he is definitely headed towards an enemy and it's that same one he saw at the start of the game or near the start of the game. He's got a four shotgun now, which is uh, 90 millimeters, 130 alpha. And there's the walk on that. He's going straight for a parachute drop. And got two there. You get rounds into each of them. And they managed to collect the drop, whatever it was. And you can now upgrade. He got the new... So you get the new gun? Well, he fired two shots. Reload now. Yep, got it. Now he can choose. And he chooses the anti-tank machine gun. Whoa, 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 in front of you, in front of you, these two have been good dinged on. It's more like the AMX 1357. That poor guy is really suffering. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for him now. Oh, into the stadium. Okay, we're coming towards another enemy. Hello, Mr. Walker. Are you the one we met earlier? Good, sh good way of dodging that. Whoa! Well, that didn't go quite as expected. And he's laid an airstrike down. Just made a quick getaway. I think he's driving in the opposite direction. Auto locked onto that guy. Or at least it looked like that. Going to try and get high. There's a drop the other side. Very well played so far. Ah, but he's going to be going into a radiation zone. So this is the final square. He's waiting. He's using it as bait for these two. But he's going to have to get to a position so he can shoot on these. He's laying down um, an airstrike. Can he get shots on him? Yes, he can. And he gets the kill. And he's all alone with the enemy now. Come on, you can do this. In fact, actually, it looks like he's going to go down and get that drop rather cheekily. I don't know if he actually gets to upgrade at this late stage. The only problem is the enemy might just get three shots on him while he's picking it up. Actually, it's the other way round, and oh my god, look at this! Nope, you've just run into the wall. That is phenomenal, the rate of fire. And the reload's not bad either, but he's in a radiation zone, so he has to get close. Victory roll as he came in. <laughs> that was good. So, uh, yes, let's have a look at the end of battle results. Here's the end of battle results for the Royal Penguin in the Arlequin on the uh, Steel Hunter. He managed to get three kills in that game, so he did rather well. Um, in fact, actually, I'm pretty sure one of those um, Walkai or Walkur, I can't remember pronunciation anyway uh, i'm pretty sure one of those was the one that he actually fought right at the start of the game he certainly got enough penetrations against them let's have a look at team score well yes it shows 4692 hit points of damage and three kills but these guys actually did a lot better than him even though they got wiped out in the end by him if we look at the detail report we can see he fired 65 shots got 47 direct hits and 34 penetration and one splash Damage of 4,692 hit points, of which 156 were at more than 300 meters. 
He received 10 hits from the enemy, all 10 penetrated. He spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged six of the enemy, killed three, did 371 hit points of stun assist off 25 stuns. On a premium account, he earned 66,000 credits from that game, and after ammunition resupply, took away 55,600 credits profit, and he got 750 XP from the personal missions payout. Um, yeah, so very good game there by uh, the Royal Penguin in Steel Hunters. We haven't actually, I'm, I can't remember if we have actually done a Steel Hunters replay before. I'm pretty sure we did in the past when somebody else did it. But it was interesting again to see how the game has changed since uh, they've done several updates. So very well done. And uh, if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.